Did you know that the company you keep can dramatically shape your happiness and success? If you want to transform your life and cultivate a mindset that thrives on positivity, you need to take a closer look at your social circle and the influences around you. In a world filled with negativity and self-doubt, it's crucial to understand the power of surrounding yourself with supportive, uplifting individuals. Today, we're diving deep into how to cultivate an environment that fosters growth, gratitude, and resilience. From limiting exposure to toxic influences to applying stoic principles that can help transform your negative thoughts, we'll explore practical steps you can take to create a fulfilling life. So, let's embark on this journey together and discover how to build the mindset and community that will elevate your life to new heights. Number 1. Surround yourself with positive people. Imagine stepping into a sunlit room filled with laughter and warmth. The energy is infectious, pulling you in and making you feel alive. When we surround ourselves with positive people, it's like basking in the glow of the sun. The impact of positivity in our social circles is profound. It uplifts us, ignites our passions and nurtures our dreams. Think back to a time when you felt empowered by the support of a friend or loved one. Perhaps it was when you were striving for a goal and their encouragement made all the difference. Those moments are treasures, proof that the company we keep can shape our paths and fuel our ambitions. Yet, it's essential to recognize that not all influences are beneficial. Sometimes, we may find ourselves entangled in relationships that drain our energy, leaving us feeling diminished and lost. Imagine standing in a crowded room where the conversations are filled with negativity and doubt. It can feel suffocating, can't it? When we expose ourselves to toxic influences, we become vulnerable to their energy, and it can seep into our thoughts, breeding self-doubt and fear. The stark contrast between uplifting and draining company is a reality we must acknowledge. Let's take a nostalgic look at our formative years, those school days filled with friendships that shaped our identities. Remember how a supportive friend could turn a challenging day into a series of laughs and inside jokes. Those connections fueled our self-esteem and helped us navigate through life's ups and downs. As we grow, it's crucial to curate our social circles intentionally, seeking out those who inspire us to be our best selves. Ask yourself, who in my life uplifts me? Who makes me feel vibrant and full of potential? Transitioning into curiosity, let's explore how we can create a network of support. How can we actively seek out relationships that empower us? One practical step is to engage in communities aligned with our values and interests. Whether it's joining a club, taking a class, or connecting through social media, the possibilities are endless. Surrounding ourselves with positive influences creates a ripple effect, enabling us to overcome challenges and thrive in our pursuits. Number two, limit exposure to toxic influences. Picture this. You're scrolling through social media and your feed is bombarded with negativity, critiques, complaints and comparisons. Each post seeps into your mind like a persistent rain, slowly dampening your spirit. In today's fast-paced world, it's all too easy to fall into the trap of toxic influences. These external pressures can wreak havoc on our self-esteem and inner peace making it imperative to limit our exposure to them. When we constantly engage with negative environments, whether in person or online, we unknowingly reinforce damaging thought patterns. Imagine the impact of daily interactions filled with skepticism and cynicism. It's as if you're standing in quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink. Our mental landscapes are shaped by the energy we consume so we must take an active role in curating our experiences. Reflecting on our past, think about the moments when you felt bogged down by negativity. Maybe it was a toxic work environment or a friend who always saw the glass as half empty. 
Those experiences can create a lasting imprint on our psyche. But as we embrace the present, we have the power to change our circumstances. Now, let's shift to curiosity. What practical steps can we take to limit exposure to toxicity? One powerful approach is to establish boundaries. This might mean stepping away from certain social media accounts, disengaging from conversations that drain your energy, or even distancing yourself from relationships that are no longer serving you. By creating space for positivity, we open the door to new opportunities and friendships that encourage growth and resilience. Number three, use stoic wisdom to build a supportive social circle. As we navigate the complexities of life, the wisdom of ancient philosophers like the Stoics offers invaluable insights. Imagine standing in a serene garden where each plant represents a relationship in your life. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a supportive social circle by focusing on quality over quantity. Just as a well-tended garden flourishes, so too can our relationships when we nurture them intentionally. At the heart of Stoic philosophy lies the understanding that we cannot control others, but we can choose who we allow into our lives. Reflect for a moment who are the individuals that bring out the best in you. Those who challenge you to think deeper and encourage you to strive for your goals. In contrast, think of those who bring chaos and negativity. Stoicism reminds us to actively seek out relationships that align with our values and aspirations, creating a network of support that empowers us to face life's challenges. Let's journey back to our childhood or adolescence, those formative years when friendships were often born from shared interests or experiences. Remember how invigorating it felt to connect with someone who understood you, who encouraged your dreams, and who was there to celebrate your victories. As we grow older, it's crucial to seek out those relationships intentionally. The Stoics believed that the company we keep directly influences our character and well-being, so we must choose wisely. As we delve into curiosity, consider how we can apply Stoic principles to our modern lives. One practical step is to engage in conversations that foster growth. Ask yourself, how can I invite more positivity and wisdom into my interactions? This might mean actively seeking mentors, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals, or even engaging in online communities that uplift you. The more we cultivate relationships rooted in support and mutual growth, the more resilient we become in the face of adversity. Number four, practice gratitude for inner peace. Imagine sitting in a quiet space, closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. In that moment, you focus on the small joys of life, perhaps the warmth of the sun on your skin, the laughter of a loved one or the satisfaction of a good meal. Practicing gratitude is like a balm for the soul, offering a pathway to inner peace amidst the chaos of life. The simple act of acknowledging our blessings can profoundly shift our perspective, allowing us to navigate challenges with grace. The modern world often leads us to fixate on what we lack, creating a sense of dissatisfaction and yearning. We scroll through social media, comparing ourselves to others, and in doing so, we forget to appreciate the abundance already present in our lives. Gratitude shifts our focus from scarcity to abundance. Imagine the weight lifting from your shoulders as you genuinely appreciate the people, experiences and opportunities that enrich your life. Reflecting on our past, think back to moments when gratitude transformed your outlook. Maybe it was during a challenging time, when a friend lent a listening ear, or when you accomplished a goal that once felt insurmountable. Those experiences remind us that even in our struggles, there are countless reasons to be grateful. Embracing gratitude invites a sense of contentment, helping us find joy in the present moment. As we transition to curiosity, let's explore practical ways to cultivate gratitude. Consider starting a gratitude journal, where you jot down three things you're thankful for each day. 
This simple practice can transform your mindset, fostering a deeper appreciation for life's blessings. How might this shift in focus impact your overall well-being? The more we practice gratitude, the more resilient we become in navigating life's uncertainties, ultimately leading to greater inner peace. Number 5. Embrace contentment and avoid constant desire. Imagine standing at the edge of a beautiful cliff, gazing out at a breathtaking sunset. The colors dance across the sky, and in that moment, you feel a deep sense of contentment. Contentment is about finding joy in the present, rather than constantly yearning for what lies ahead. In our fast-paced society, it's easy to fall into the trap of perpetual desire, believing that happiness lies just beyond our grasp. But what if we learn to embrace the here and now? Contentment is often overshadowed by the relentless pursuit of more, more success, more possessions, more experiences. The constant desire for what we don't have can lead to feelings of inadequacy and dissatisfaction. Reflecting on our experiences, we might recall moments when we chased after something we believed would bring us happiness, only to find it fleeting. Those moments can serve as valuable reminders that true fulfillment comes from within, not from external acquisitions. As we delve into nostalgia, think back to simpler times. Perhaps childhood days filled with joy in small pleasures, like playing outside or spending time with friends. There was a magic in those moments, a sense of contentment that often fades as we grow older. We must reconnect with that sense of wonder and appreciation for what we have, rather than getting caught up in the race for more. Now let's explore curiosity. How can we cultivate a mindset of contentment in our daily lives? One effective approach is to practice mindfulness, allowing ourselves to fully engage in the present moment. What if we took a few minutes each day to pause and appreciate our surroundings? By shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have, we open ourselves to a deeper sense of fulfillment and joy. Number six, let go of resistance to reality. Imagine trying to swim against a strong current. Every stroke feels like an uphill battle and you're exhausted. The more you resist, the more the current pulls you under. In life, we often encounter situations that challenge our expectations and desires. When we cling to our visions of how things should be, we create unnecessary suffering. Letting go of resistance to reality is a crucial step toward finding peace and acceptance. Resistance often stems from our attachment to specific outcomes or beliefs about how our lives should unfold. Reflect for a moment, how many times have you faced disappointment because reality didn't align with your expectations? Those moments can feel disheartening, but they also offer opportunities for growth and transformation. When we let go of our rigid beliefs, we open ourselves to new possibilities and perspectives. Nostalgia plays a role here too. Think back to times when you faced unexpected changes, perhaps a job loss, a breakup, or a relocation. In those moments, the initial reaction might have been resistance, but eventually you may have discovered new opportunities or paths you hadn't considered before. Embracing the unexpected can lead to profound personal growth and self-discovery. As we transition to curiosity, let's explore how we can practice letting go of resistance. One practical step is to develop a mindfulness practice allowing ourselves to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. What if we approach challenges with an open mind, asking ourselves, what can I learn from this experience? By cultivating this mindset, we become more adaptable and resilient, ultimately finding peace amidst the chaos. Number seven, cultivate acceptance to reduce suffering. Imagine standing in front of a vast ocean, waves crashing against the shore. Each wave represents a challenge, an emotion, or a situation in your life. As you stand there, 
you have a choice resist the waves or learn to ride them. Cultivating acceptance is about embracing life as it is, rather than how we wish it to be. It's about acknowledging our circumstances and finding peace within them, ultimately reducing our suffering. Acceptance doesn't mean we condone difficult situations, rather, it's about recognizing that resistance only amplifies our pain. Reflect for a moment how often do we find ourselves in a cycle of frustration because we wish things were different. When we practice acceptance, we can step back from our emotions and observe them without judgment. This shift in perspective allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and clarity. Nostalgia can deepen our understanding of acceptance. Think back to a time when you faced adversity, perhaps a loss or a setback. Initially, the pain might have felt insurmountable, but as time passed, you may have found a way to accept your reality, leading to personal growth and resilience. Those experiences remind us that acceptance is a journey, not a destination. As we explore curiosity, consider how we can actively cultivate acceptance in our daily lives. One effective practice is to engage in self-compassion, treating ourselves with the same kindness we would offer a friend. What if we reframed our challenges as opportunities for growth? By fostering a mindset of acceptance, we create space for healing and transformation, ultimately reducing our suffering and enhancing our overall well-being. Number eight, engage in self-reflection for personal growth. Imagine sitting in a quiet room, a journal open in front of you, pen poised to capture your thoughts. Self-reflection is a powerful tool for personal growth allowing us to pause and examine our experiences, beliefs and aspirations. It's in these moments of introspection that we can gain clarity about our paths, uncover hidden desires and recognize patterns that may be holding us back. Engaging in self-reflection can be daunting. It requires us to confront uncomfortable truths and acknowledge our shortcomings. However, it's also a pathway to empowerment and transformation. Think back to times when you took a step back to reflect on a significant event in your life. Those moments of contemplation often reveal insights that shape our future choices and actions. Nostalgia plays a role in self-reflection as well. Remember the lessons learned from past mistakes, those times when you stumbled but emerged stronger. Reflecting on those experiences fosters resilience, helping us to develop a clearer sense of who we are and what we want. Embracing our journeys, both the highs and the lows, can illuminate the path to personal growth. Now let's shift to curiosity. How can we incorporate self-reflection into our daily lives? One practical approach is to set aside dedicated time for introspection, whether through journaling, meditation, or quiet contemplation. What if we asked ourselves meaningful questions like, what am I grateful for? What lessons have I learned from recent experiences? By engaging in this practice, we deepen our understanding of ourselves and create space for personal growth. Number nine, learn from setbacks. Instead of self-criticism, Imagine standing in front of a mirror, reflecting on your recent setbacks. Instead of embracing self-criticism, you choose to see those challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. Life is filled with ups and downs, and our ability to learn from setbacks determines how we navigate our journeys. When we shift our mindset from self-blame to curiosity, we unlock the potential for resilience and transformation. Setbacks can feel like heavy weights, pulling us down and stifling our ambitions. Yet, when we approach them with a learning mindset, we uncover valuable insights. Reflect for a moment, how many times have you faced a setback and emerged with newfound wisdom? Those experiences remind us that failure is not the end, but rather a stepping stone towards success. Nostalgia plays a vital role here. Think back to a time when you encountered a significant setback. 
perhaps a failed exam or a missed opportunity. In those moments, the initial sting of disappointment might have overshadowed the lessons learned. But as time passed, you likely recognized how those experiences shaped your resilience and determination. Embracing this perspective allows us to view setbacks as essential components of our journeys. Now, let's delve into curiosity. How can we actively learn from setbacks rather than fall into self-criticism? One practical approach is to adopt a growth mindset, reminding ourselves that our abilities and intelligence can develop over time. What if we reframed our failures as opportunities for growth? By embracing this mindset, we empower ourselves to move forward with renewed determination and a clearer sense of purpose. Number 10. Transform negative thoughts with stoic principles. Imagine sitting in a serene park surrounded by nature and observing your thoughts as they drift by like clouds. Stoicism teaches us the art of transforming negative thoughts into opportunities for growth and resilience. When faced with challenges, our thoughts often spiral into negativity, leading to stress and anxiety. However, by applying stoic principles, we can shift our perspectives and reclaim our inner peace. Negative thoughts can be overwhelming, creating a cycle of self-doubt and fear. But Stoicism offers practical tools to help us navigate these turbulent waters. Reflect for a moment, how many times have you found yourself trapped in a loop of negative thinking? Those moments can feel suffocating, but with the right mindset, we can break free. Nostalgia can enhance our understanding of transforming negative thoughts. Think back to a challenging time when you felt consumed by negativity. Remember the shift that occurred when you embraced a different perspective. Those experiences serve as reminders that we have the power to choose how we respond to adversity. By recognizing the impermanence of our thoughts, we can cultivate a greater sense of clarity and resilience. As we transition to curiosity, let's explore practical ways to apply stoic principles in our daily lives. One effective approach is to engage in reframing our thoughts. When negative thoughts arise, ask yourself, what evidence do I have for this belief? How might I view this situation differently? By challenging our negative thinking patterns, we create space for more constructive and empowering perspectives. As we wrap up this journey through the transformative power of Stoic principles, remember that the road to overcoming negative thoughts and self-doubt begins with intentional choices and self-awareness. Each step you take towards surrounding yourself with positivity and embracing gratitude can lead to profound changes in your life. The wisdom of Stoic philosophers can guide you through challenges and inspire resilience, reminding you that your thoughts shape your reality. If you found value in this exploration, drop a hundred in the comments below. This simple act shows that you're part of the 0.01% who commit to finishing what they start. If you're truly serious about transforming your life and cultivating a mindset that fosters growth and resilience, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, join our community and stay connected as we continue to share insights and strategies to empower you on your journey.